Question one is the frequency distribution table and we need to complete it. The frequency distribution tables are really useful if you've got massive sets of data and they help you to arrange it. There's lots of columns but each of them do something very important. So the frequency columns for helping us calculate the mode. The FX or the frequency time score column helps us to work out the mean or the average. And the cumulative frequency, or CF column, helps us later to work out the median. We use the percent relative frequency column to help us make predictions later on. So when we go to calculate these, the score is often called the X, and the frequency is often called the F. So the FX column is simply F times X. So 4 times nothing is nothing, 7 times 1 is 7, 13 times 2 is 26, 22 times 3 is 66, 3 fours are 12, and 4 fives are 20. We put that into our calculator and we get the total 131. Okay, next we're going to do the cumulative frequency column. Cumulative means growing, so it's as the frequency grows. So we take this 4 over here, we move it over, and then we say 4 plus the next number, which is 7, is 11. 11 plus 13 is 24. And we allow that to keep growing in the same way until we hit the total. Now we don't need a total for this column or the next, and it will be blanked out in the test. But you can use that number 53 because that is also the total of your frequency column, which will become useful for you later. The last part is to work out the relative frequency as a percentage. So what you do is you go back to the frequency column and you go looking for this 4 and the total 53. And so what we're describing it is the frequency relative to the total. So 4 over 53, then we multiply it by 100 to turn it into a percentage. So this one will be 7.5%. So I'll just pause the video and fill the rest out. And now that we've filled all of those out, we'll have a look at how we can actually use them. So to calculate the mean, what you need to do is you need to take the Fx total you need to divide it by the frequency total. Okay, so in other words, in this case it will be 131, so I'm taking that from here, and I'm going to divide it by 53, which I'm taking from here. Use your calculator, and that will give you the answer 2.47. Right, for the median, the median score is the middle score. Now, imagine these were 53 numbers lined up from 0 through to 5, so smallest to biggest. There will be 53 numbers all on the line. So you're looking for the score that's right in the middle. So what you could do is you could say 53 divided by 2 is um, it's going to give you 26 and a half. So I'd be looking for the 27th score. But there is a formula for this one. Okay, What you could do is you can add your total, 53, to 1 and then divide by 2 and that will give you the 27th score. We need to know where the 27th score happens. So we turn to our cumulative frequency column here and in this first one it's the sorry it's the first to the fourth score that happens here, the fifth to the 11th that happens here, the 12th to the 24th score that happens here, and then the 25th to the 46th score that happens here. So it's going to happen in that column. So if you scan back over and look at the score, the score is 3. And then the mode is the score that happens the most. So in that case, we happen to look at the frequency column, because that tells us how many times each of those scores happen. We look for the highest number, which is 22. And again, look at what score that is, which is 3, and that's our mode. 
Now, when you guys move down, there may be some questions that ask you to use the information above to answer questions. So, they're asking you what the chance is that this team's going to score five goals in their next match. So, we can have a look at the column where there's five goals and scan across and see that there is a 7.5% chance that that's going to happen asking you what about scoring more than three goals well that would be if it happened if they got four goals or five goals so what we can do to work that out is we can just put 5.7 plus 7.5 into your calculator and you'll find that they have got a 13.2 percent chance of that happening and lastly, they're asking you to make a prediction. In, in that round, they only played 53 games and they got an average score of 2.47 goals. This is saying, what about if they had played 66 games? So I know that if on average they scored 2.47 goals each time they play and they play 66 times, then theoretically they would score 163 two games a score goals sorry across those 66 games but obviously you can't score um, 0 0.02 so we can round that down and say therefore approximately 163 goals.